Warning, the following video contains some mildly disturbing images. Viewer discretion is advised. The artist formerly known as Walter Lehner Hollinger was introduced to the American art scene of John Cage, Carol Schneeman, Trisha Brown, and others in the 1960s. In 1968, Hollinger changed her name to Valley Export, written in all capital letters. It was inspired by a popular cigarette brand called Smart Export, in which she replaced the word smart with Valley. Her name change and the nature of her name visually marked the beginning of Valley Export's career as an influential feminist artist. In the 1970s, she was part of the feminist media art movement, creating what would later be characterized as video body art or radical feminist art. Valley Exports Remote Remote, made in 1973, is a 12-minute 16-millimeter color video. The video begins with a static pounding noise that sounds like a blunt metal object being struck against. At first, the audio is a distraction for the audience when watching the video, but as the sound continues, the audience will become accustomed to it, assuming the form of a bearable mantra. The audio shift to becoming a tolerated sound reflects an idea from Martha Rosler's essay on the phenomenon of the conscious industry and culture industry. When one first hears the sound, they are likely to be aware and detracted by the noise. They will most likely criticize it, paralleling the idea of conscious industry. But once it becomes a constant beat, one is more likely to accept it without second thought and let it recede into the background. This marks a change from conscious industry to culture industry. The image in the video psychologically helps the audio re-emerge from the background so that it becomes a cycle of conscious industry and culture industry. Early on, the camera pans out from the close-up of the baby, and we see the seated performer Bailey export. The image of the baby being a backdrop for her video came from the police archive. It is a picture of two children who are taken away from their parents due to domestic violence. With knowledge of the photo origin, we know the video is a commentary on domestic violence and the role of women. This was a very common theme chosen by feminist artists during the 1960s and 70s due to the second wave of feminism and other social movements that were active at the time. According to Rashrisa Muller, Valley Export defines these videos as feminist actionism, meaning that just as action aims at achieving the unity of actor and material, perception and action, subject and object, Feminist actionism seeks to transform the object of male natural history, the material woman, subjugated and enslaved by the male creator, into an independent actor and creator, object of her own history. For without the ability to express oneself, and without a field of action, there can be no human dignity. Remote Remote is a feminist actionist video because Bailey Export uses herself as both object and subject, and by doing so, she achieved being an independent actor and creator as defined. The ideology of the video structure establishing a relationship between camera and subject being viewed is known as the apparatus theory, noted in Lee's article. An instance of this is the use of cameras to help establish a relationship between children and performer with close-up images of their eyes. First the performer's eye, then the children. This theory deals with not only the meaning of images in the video, but how the images translate onto the screen and how we then read the images. The translation of the images on the screen is important, but the medium is also important. The camera helps create meaning with subject or object not through narrative, but medium, in this case, video. This is known as medium specificity, a concept conceived by Marshall McLuhan, covered in Tanya Layton's essay. 
According to her, medium specificity refers to the traditional way in which mediums had been specified. By using video, it could be said that Valley Export has rejected the former idea of traditional medium. Therefore, she is rejecting the idea of male dominance. Many artists choose to use the camera because it is affordable and accessible. It is used mainly because this medium has an immediate quality noted in William Kaiser's essay. The immediacy of medium helps Bailey Export achieve a sense of liveness, so the violent act of cutting herself affects the audience even more. Her goal for using this medium is to challenge the structures and conditions of visual and emotional communication so as to render our amputated sense of perception capable of perception again. Valley Export, the performer on screen, is an object. She is an object because she is used as a prop to convey emotions of violence, fear, and anger. She is not acting in the conventional sense of having dialogue and conveying emotions with facial expressions with traditional narratives. She is mechanical. She is doing something repetitive to convey an idea. At first, when the audience watches the video, they simply think that she is just cutting her nails or trimming her cuticle. But as the shots move closer to her hands, she is doing a violent act of cutting herself until she bleeds and dunking her fingers into a bowl of milk. This affects the audience mentally and physically because they do not expect it. By having close-ups of the performer cutting herself, she she is externalizing an internal state, triggering a psychological tension between the audience and her. By watching it, we imagine the feeling of physical pain ourselves. Even if the audience knows the conclusion, the knowledge of it creates anticipation for them to watch her do the act of mutilating her fingers even more. Remote Remote is a very shocking video that plays with one's mental state through the use of graphic images and props. As one watches her cut herself, one wants to look away just listening to the audio, hoping the images would disappear. The blatant mutilation of her hands is a direct statement that is unforgettable to the senses.